what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabby. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Lululemon shoes. Now I am a Lululemon educator, so just as a disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. This is a true, honest opinion and review of the Lululemon shoes. As an educator, we did get gifted one pair of the Blissville shoes to try out, but I did buy the other two pairs, which is another pair of Blissfields and the Restfeel slides myself with my own money. And yes, we still do get a discount, but again, I'm still purchasing these out of pocket for myself. So I just wanted to throw that out there. I know this video is coming a couple months late as well, but I really wanted to give both of these shoes a good trial before I gave a review to kind of, you know, make it more holistic, I guess, in terms of my review. So if you want to see if I recommend the new shoes from Lululemon, just keep on watching. Okay, so jumping right into it, Lululemon launched their first ever running shoe and announced a whole line of shoes to come as well in the next year or so. So the first shoes that they released are the Blissfield running shoes. Now this is the color Mink Berry, which I purchased myself, but Lululemon was so kind and gifted educators one pair of Blissfields, which we did not get to choose the color, to try out and educate guests with. So these are the triple black pair and I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of what they look like and kind of the details about the shoes as well and then move into kind of sizing, price point, and then my review. So here is the Blissfield shoe in triple black. We have a mesh breathability up here in the toe box. Moving into the laces, which have kind of like a, I don't know what you call this exactly, but like a lace grip so the laces stay in place. And then moving back, we have the heel lock at the back here, which is gonna keep your heel nice and snug in place. So it's not moving around or slipping out when you are running, exercising, anything like that. Here is the bottom of the shoe. You can see the treads and the nice little Lululemon logo down here. The forefoot and the back of the shoe here have firmer rubber than the midsole of the shoe, which this is supposed to help the shoe not wear out in the treads and stuff as fast and then the midsole is kind of that softer rubber so you really get that spring and kind of like flexibility in the shoe when you are running and exercising. Also at the back of the shoe it has the Lululemon logo. Now most people don't really like this but I think it is a cute little detail and it's not so like flashy as if it was on the side of the shoe. I would say that some of these ones I believe are reflective as well at the back of the shoe which is nice. Again if you're running at dusk or dawn. So there are just like silver at the back, which is cute. But yeah, that's basically the breakdown of the shoe here. It does have like a little Lululemon logo on the inside of the shoe and the like cushioning in it is like a blue color, which is super cute. And then it just has like the little logo on the side of the tongue there as well. So that's basically the overview of the shoe kind of everything that breaks it down. So moving into sizing, I would say that these run pretty true to size. I got both of my pairs in a size six and I would say they fit perfectly. They do have a quiz online that you can do to see what size of bliss feels they would recommend. So you can check that out if you're still unsure, but I would again say pretty true to size. Now these ones definitely have a narrower toe box so if you do have a wider foot they recommend sizing up half a size which I would agree with. It is quite snug in the forefront of the foot however that's so that your foot is not sliding around or anything and is really feeling hugged and held in place. Or same with the heel clip I would say that it is again a quite a hugged feeling which is different than any other shoe I have put on my foot if I'm being honest with you. Um, but it's actually kind of a nice feeling so when I initially put these on it was definitely interesting to get used to but you get used to it pretty quickly and you can really feel a difference from the shoe going back into other shoes and now what's cool about the bliss feels is that they were designed for women first and now what that means basically is typically running shoes are made with men's anatomy and biological body in mind um, and then scale down into a women's version and women's sizes but the cool thing about the lululemon shoes is that this was like four years of research of consulting with women women's feed women's anatomy and you know biological kinesiology i guess if that makes any sense again i'm not a health science person or anything like that but basically they've taken like over a million foot scans of different women several
several trials of product and iterations of these shoes to finally come out with this product, which is really unique and cool. And I would say that there definitely is a difference between like these and a pair of Nikes. Now for pricing, the Blissfields retail for 148 US and 198 Canadian. And now I know that seems like a big difference and I would agree that it is a big difference between US and Canada. And I know that has things to do with manufacturing pricing and the dollar difference and all of that stuff. But again, it's a pretty hefty price point for a running shoe, especially, you know, comparable. You could probably get other brands for a smaller price point. However, I would say that the investment is worth it for more higher end shoes. I would say probably run around that price point anyway. So I would say the price point of these are actually pretty competitive for the technical things that have gone into the shoe. I do understand the price point, so I kind of get it. For me, I would compare these two hokas in Canadian dollars they are 198 here in Canada and that is the same price as these shoes I have recently gotten into hokas and absolutely love them for running but I do also really value good quality footwear and footwear that is going to be good for my feet and not make them sore at the end of the day. I do have plantar fasciitis and I really want to take care of my feet. So I do think for me that this is a great investment and I'll get into a little bit more of that later in this video, kind of in that review process. But that is basically the price points for them. They do come in 10 different colors online right now. A lot of them are sold out, but they do have like core colors that are going to be like the white, the black and white, the gray and the black, I believe are gonna be there all year round all the time kind of like the core main staples of the shoe and then they're gonna have more of that seasonal color like the pink that's gonna rotate through kind of throughout the seasons and stuff like that I feel like if there's not like a color there you love right now maybe wait and see what other colors they come out with as well because again they're gonna have that rotating color scheme but I feel like you can always you know go with black and white it's classic look as well um, but that's a little bit about the sneaker in general so now let's move on to my review okay so as I said we did get one pair sent to us gifted from lululemon I did go with a true size 6 and I'm very thankful that I did I feel like these fit like a glove I'm super happy with the way that they feel on my feet um, they definitely took a little bit of getting used to at the start so they do have two millimeters of extra cushioning at the front which I really really love they have a decent amount of arch support now I wouldn't say that these are an orthopedic shoe they're definitely not if you do need like special insoles or anything then obviously that doesn't come with a shoe it's not geared for that and of course there's more technical shoes on the market if you are a long distance like marathon hardcore runner perhaps this is not the shoe for everybody I totally understand that the nice thing about them is that they do have a 30-day free trial so you can buy the shoes wear the shoes give them a test go for that run go for that workout and if they really don't live up to your expectations or if you just don't like them you can return them within that 30-day period even if they're already worn and you know sweated in which is really nice kind of like that risk-free trial to you know just at least test out the shoe and see if you like it so I just wanted to throw that out there but back to my thoughts on it I would say that they didn't really have a big break-in period like yes it took a little while to get used to how hugged your foot feels but I love that they stay in place I've done so many shifts in these shoes eight hour shifts concrete floor hustling my butt around the store And I've done a few workouts at berries in them as well And I love that your you know heel feels so secure in them and your toes aren't really sliding back and forth which I sometimes drives me crazy in some shoes. So you do really feel held in place with these shoes. I love the extra cushioning. Like I mentioned, I am pretty prone to shin splints and sore feet, especially at the end of a day. How can you not? But with these Blissfield shoes, I feel like it's definitely lessened that or like minimized it to a like point where I don't really notice it as much, which is great. Yes, my feet are still gonna be sore after an eight hour day, like whose feet aren't on Honestly, but it's definitely way way less than if I just wore like some Adidas shoes I got at Costco. I usually blow through those like in a 
few months because I wear them out so easily but I feel like these ones are definitely way more durable since I have worn them for quite a few months already again the kind of sole of the foot is supposed to be a little bit more durable as well to that um, wear and tear so I do really appreciate that breathability wise I would say they are decently breathable my feet I think still do get quite sweaty obviously after a workout or an eight-hour day in them however I don't feel like they retain that moisture because I know that can make shoes really smell bad and I would say that these ones have done a pretty good job of like wicking away sweat as well especially once your foot is out of them I do appreciate that aspect I have gone for a long 10k walk in these within the first week that I got them and honestly my feet felt great after usually I would get shin splints usually I would be done by kilometer five but honestly I was super surprised with these I didn't even get a blister which is like unbelievable for a brand new pair of shoes and walking that long in them. I am super happy about these and I do think that they are worth the price. Again, like I mentioned, I would compare them to Hoka's in terms of price point. It's a little bit more elevated, but I would say that, you know, I would maybe choose these even over my Hoka's to work in, to walk in. However, I might choose my Hoka's a little bit more if I'm running for a longer distance. So again, this is not going to be for everybody, but I do feel like if you maybe work work in retail, work in a restaurant, somewhere where you're standing a long period of time, even nurses, janitors, whatever you might be if you're standing a long period of time, especially on concrete floor, definitely give these a trial and check them out if you haven't already because I I would definitely recommend them for that. If you're like more of a long distance runner or technical runner, I guess I would say, potentially these might not be for you and I know that there's other like aspects of shoes that may be more appealing, but if you're like an average kind of runner like you just want to go on you know your 5k like 2 to 5k run around the neighborhood kind of thing I think these would be more than fine so that is basically all of my thoughts on the Blissfield running shoe okay, now moving on to a more recent shoe launch which is the Restfield slides these definitely came out more recently so I haven't worn them as much as the Blissfield shoes but I've worn them enough I think to give them a decent review so here we go. So the rest feel slides are intended for kind of that post-workout, obviously I, don't, I wouldn't work out in these, post-workout on the move type of wear. They have the same foam as the Blissfeel shoes that I just showed and it has two layers of foam actually. So one softer on the top and then a firmer layer on the bottom for support. Here is what the sole looks like or the outsole I guess with the Lululemon logos kind of as that tread. Again, I feel like it is very grippy so you still get a lot of traction with these which is nice the upper here is quite squishy and soft it does have the Lululemon logo just on the side here and again on this side of the shoe this is the color misty pink they also came out with white black and delicate mint I definitely thought like straight out of the box that these are would be more of a baby pink however I would say they are quite like a washed out mauvey grayish tone pink first impressions of the color i would say not exactly what i expected however it's a color like it's not the end of the world another thing is that it does say like creates happiness on the arch of the foot between the shoes there so that's kind of like a cute little detail i think with the logo kind of at the back here a little bit of a backstory to these i initially got a size five now i said that you know my true size is mostly six for bliss feels however when it comes to sandals or like any open toed type of shoes i'm typically a true size five and a half because like i don't want my foot to slide in and out of them so with Lululemon's sizing guide recommendations, they said if you're a half size, then I would size down. So I initially got the five and I would say that they were too small. They didn't quite fit. I did use a little measurement chart and measure my foot and I would say the fives were exactly the length of my foot and that didn't really work out because obviously you don't have anywhere to go. You didn't have any room to move, I would say and my toes would just hang off slightly on the end or if I moved my foot back slightly, then my heel would be off of the shoe. So that was no bueno, didn't work, I would say. Get your true bliss feel size. I was so, so fortunate to be able to exchange these in my store. Someone returned to size six in the same color and I was able to exchange them, which is fantastic. So way, way happier with the size six, which again is my true bliss feel size and I should have just known and gone with the six. But that's a little bit of 
the backstory. So initially my slides review was not very good of these because they were just too small, they didn't really fit, and they weren't comfy because they were too small. Again, sizing is a little bit tricky. If you have a pair of Bliss Feels, go with that size. I would say very true to size. If you are like a true half size between Potentially, I would maybe still say go down because I know some people that have gone up and they're too big. So again, it's it's a little bit of hit or miss. Thankfully, these still have a 30-day risk-free trial, same as the Bliss Feels. So you can order them, wear them, test them out, and if they don't work for you, you can always exchange them for a different size or return them all together if they really don't work for you. So I have worn these for one shift, one shorter shift, like six hours. We're not probably last eight hours in these because again they're not going to be that supportive they're, they're sandals they're not orthopedic they're not you know gonna be held in it's your typical sandal I feel like hopefully that is enough to give them a review plus I've worn them around the house and out for errands and stuff like that so these do retail for I believe 68 Canadian 58 US and honestly again there's gonna be a little bit of a price difference but I would say that they are still like in that comparable price range to if you're getting like other types of slides from like Nike, Adidas, um, any of those brands. Again, of course you could get cheaper ones or you could get more expensive ones like Birkenstocks, but I feel like these are again, a pretty competitive price point for what they are. Now, the only thing that is still left to be unanswered is if these can truly get wet or not, if you can wear these to a pool and they're gonna be okay. I actually don't know the answer to this, even as an educator. I would say I wouldn't like submerge these. I wouldn't like go swimming in them. I think they might be okay if you like slip them on after you like kind of dried your feet, if they're still a little bit wet, kind of by the pool or something, but I wouldn't like submerge them obviously in water, especially chlorine water, as it may like damage the band of this. Like it's not like true rubber. It's like a very like fabric-y type of material, I would say. So definitely wouldn't recommend submerging these in water as a water shoe, but I think they would be fine to wear to like the beach or something like that. Again, they're intended for an after workout shoe, not necessarily a swimwear shoe. My first impressions of them, I'm not gonna lie, I was slightly disappointed. A, because of the color, and B, I just, I don't know. I thought that they were gonna be something more, I guess. I'm not really sure what that even is or means, but I was definitely slightly like disappointed when I saw them launch. It wasn't anything like super wow cool out of the ordinary other than, you know, having blue lemon on the sole. I would say size wise, they were definitely very snug with socks on and typically I like to wear socks after my workout. In my shoes, I, I just don't like the bare feet thing. Without socks, I would say that these fit beautifully and again, that's I guess like a summer thing. Wearing them for long periods of time, I would say that they are quite squishy. They're decently supportive for sandals. Again, not an orthopedic thing, so it's not gonna provide a ton of support. But even wearing them for a six hour shift, my feet I felt like were decently supported. Now the one caveat to this is the band actually, which I would say is kind of tight around the outside of the foot. If your foot is not in the exact right position, in the shoe, which is very interesting. So if my foot is slightly too far forward, I find that this pinches quite a bit and it did leave a blister on the top of my feet. So I kind of had to readjust my foot every once and again from sliding forward, making sure that I'm bringing that back so it doesn't rub quite as much on my foot. So even though that this is like squishy and fuzzy, I still felt like it irritated my foot at the top. I'm not sure if that's gonna be like just a little bit of a break-in thing, if this is gonna eventually like loosen up and become a little bit like softer, more pliable um, and not dig into my foot at the top. Again, I guess that's not part of the like full review, but I will keep you updated. However, I would say the rest of the sandal was great. Now again, when it comes to justifying the price point of these, I would still say that they, yes, are competitive with other brands. So depending whether that price point is worth it to you or not is again, a very personal preference, I would say. Personally, I am still undecided if I would purchase another pair of these, especially like full price, no discount 
type of thing. They're good for what they are. However, I'm just not sure if the digging in on the band is worth it or if that's gonna like soften up and not do that. Especially for long periods of time. If I'm throwing them on, going to the grocery store, they're completely fine. But if I am wearing them for like a longer period of time, maybe which is not what they're intended to wear, but I would say like I wear my Steve Madden kind of knockoff Birkenstock sandals for six hour shift and I don't really have a problem with them other than my feet hurting at the end. I would say that these ones are definitely more squishy. Personally, I am quite undecided if these are worth the $70 price point Canadian. I would say 58 American is definitely more so I would be willing to pay that. That is kind of my two cents on the rest feel slides. But that pretty much sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it or found it helpful if you're looking for a review on the Lululemon shoes. Now they do have three more styles of shoes coming out within the next year or so. They have the Charge Feel Workout Shoe, the Charge Feel Mid, and a Training Shoe. So let me know down below if you guys wanna see a review on those ones as well. And also while you're in the comments, let me know your thoughts about the Bliss Feel shoes and the Rest Feel slides if you tried them out for yourself or if you're looking to try them out have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more content and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And with that, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.